Now to our Heartland special investigation into UFOs. Take a look. And some special cell phone video made by 7th graders at J. Crockett Farnell Middle School in Tampa, Florida. UFO sightings seem to be on the rise. Here in America, the state of Arkansas was a buzz on January 18th when an Air Force colonel described lights not of this world and snapped pictures of his celestial experience. The Air Force stated the incident was due to new experiments. According to witnesses, that same day, strange lights plagued the skies of the Carolinas, prompting several 911 calls. And just days ago, on the 29th, Hawaii was mighty flighty when a UFO was reported over the South Shore sky. It appears these unexplained objects are creating more and more sensations since the reported sightings last year at O'Hare International Airport, which were explained as a weather phenomenon. But it seems the public still wants to know the truth. Do UFOs exist? You decide. For Heartland, I'm Janice Dean. And some special cell phone video made by 7th graders at J. Crockett Farnell Middle School in Tampa, Florida. Raise your hand and say yes if you know anyone who has ever seen a UFO. Yes. I think there's a big chance there's no intelligent life on another planet because it may have been hit by a comet just like Earth. Now it's gone. The poof. I totally disagree with her. I believe that there is life on a different planet because, well, we might not see it, but... They might have taken a different path and had, like, better spacecraft than we do. Well, we never know. Nope. All right, joining us is scientist, author, and inventor Bill Nye, the science guy, and David Sarita, director of the documentary Dan Aykroyd Unplugged on UFOs. All right, hey, David, uh, let, let me start with you. You can see even little kids are so fascinated by this. You know, a lot of people talk about it. You believe in UFOs. Why, you know, why do you believe it in a nutshell? Well, just like these little kids, I was on my way home from elementary school in Berkeley in 1967-68. I noticed this crowd of people pointing up at the sky at a flying saucer. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a silver metallic disc. And after a full 20 minutes, people were pounding on their neighbor's doors. I knew, and I built model airplanes when I was a little kid. I knew it wasn't that. I knew it wasn't the Goodyear blimp. It's a flying saucer. It looked like the Enterprise from, you know, Star Trek. And it just, it just disappeared in a blink of an eye after 20 minutes. And after that sighting, I mean, my life changed. I started researching UFOs like crazy. Well, you're, in, really this, you're, in, you're in this like crazy, David. I want you to tell us about this exclusive video of an alleged UFO sighting in Lake Erie. Tell us about this. Well, this is Michael Lee Hill, who won the Stephen Vai Open Guitar Contest. And he's filming down at Lake Erie late at night. I mean, it's a quiet lake. I've been down there. And... You know, he's seen a lot of UFOs down there, so he started videotaping. In this particular sighting, you see these two UFOs with the spinning lights, and you can't tell if they're boats yet. You know, you think they're, maybe they're just boats on the lake. But one of them flies in from the left, hovers above one of them for a few moments, and then it takes off. And when he switches to night shot mode on his camera, you can see these things are hovering a clear 50 to 100 feet above the lake. So they're obviously, I mean, they're not helicopters. You don't hear helicopter blades. They're not Harrier jets because right. those things are noisier than hell. So what are they? And in fact, when we think about this, this is very close to all of the Great Lakes sightings and now the big sighting at O'Hare National Airport. Yeah, where just recently. All, all right, David, hold on now because, yeah, so. you know, we, we're seeing this video. All right, Bill Nye, you're the science guy. You got to be a little bit wacky to think that UFOs are down here and that, you know, some, some people believe that uh, folks have actually got on these ships. I mean, tell us, you're the science guy. Well, I'm very skeptical that those photographs or those videos were, were unidentified flying objects from other worlds. They're unidentified flying objects, but they're, what we always say in the skeptical community, we encourage you to evaluate the quality of the evidence. Two fuzzy lights, shaking camera, you know, in the United States, there are perhaps 10 billion digital photographs taken every week. In the world, perhaps 10 times that. So with 100 billion photographs, let's say a month, you'd think you'd get one good picture, just one good picture. Those pictures to me are lights in the sky. And I, I, with all due respect, the spinning hubcap thing looks like it was something that was on my show uh, almost 10 years ago. We had a, a bit called the Hoaxer 2000 where you'd hang 
a spinning disc right. from a fish line. <coughs> and it's just the quality of the evidence is so low in this case. David, what that, if, uh, if, if it there, doesn't compel me? Good point, Bill. Mm. David, what about the fact that people have this great penchant for, you know, conspiracy? You know, people think there's conspiracy about everything. I mean, Lady Di, the conspiracy there just won't go away. So how about Area 51? Well, I'm, I'm talking to uh, to David about this. You know, how do you separate well, David? The, you know, the conspiracy stuff from you know what could be real, and Bill's well, comment about the, you know these things they could be made in a lab. I rely on the expert witness testimony. You have Major Bob White who test flew the X-15 at Edwards Air Force Base. He's the first man to travel Mach 4, 5, and 6. And in Time Magazine on July 27, 1962, he testified. He's going Mach 6, and right outside of his window is an unidentified flying object. It's gray. It's traveling Mach like 6. Who else man. goes Mach 6? No, no, it's not a meteor. It's daytime. No, I mean, it's right, right next to him. It's right outside of his window. And then you look at Gordon Cooper, 1958 at Edwards Air Force right. Base, a national hero, an astronaut. He testified they filmed a UFO landing on the dry lake bed, puts out the little tripod gear, double lenticular, lens shape, double lens shape, with a little dome on the top, and then it flies away. This is Gordon Cooper, and he develops the film. All right. They look at the film, and he says uh, it's real, and he sends it to the Pentagon, never to be seen ever again. What do right, you say to the expert? Bill, witnesses? what about, why don't they, my brother-in-law says, open Area 51. Let's look at the files. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Area 51 is where we, the United States, build secret airplanes. If you want to have a good time, and I encourage all of your viewers sometime, visit the Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio. You can see the F-117, uh, right. which was a classified fighter plane. You can see the Have Blue, which is a light blue colored uh, anti-radar plane. You can Very see them all. Yeah, it could protect. be the military. No, well, no, look, it, just, uh, it takes about 20 years right. for the military to reveal these things. Well, and, and, in the and, meantime, and, and, and David people might go see nuts. That. Guys, we're out of time. This debate okay. could go on forever. And guess what? I think we're going to end up having it again. I want to thank Think you critically. Both for being be skeptical. With us.